getting involved, getting your hands dirty. Chemicals, mixing chemicals together. Interesting topics and interesting talks. From neuroscience to geology to physics to like astrophysics. Kind of like a bar crawl, but you can learn something as well. It's free, which is a massive selling point. And there's just such a wide range of things here. Science is amazing and is just in every single part of your life. Siemens loves to be involved in the British Science Festival because this is all about how do we infuse more young people to get involved in science, engineering, technology. What's unique about the British Science Festival is how welcoming it all is. They make it as inclusive as possible. It seems very clear to me that people are really enjoying themselves here. There's a good buzz and that's what we want. It's a really great opportunity for the University of Bradford to be able to showcase its science and technology research expertise. And of course it's really been great to see everybody having such a wonderful time. Science is so important that we should learn to communicate and this is a really, really good forum for doing that. The people that they've got in to talk here are absolutely fantastic. This suit is almost exactly the same as the suit that Yuri Gagarin flew in. Looking at science from a really diverse perspective, everything from DNA and genetics and climate change and to mindfulness. I came here to talk about the Rosetta mission that went and chased down a comet. We had to get out to the comet, we had to chase the comet down, get into the same orbit as the comet around the sun. It's an exciting ride and hopefully I've portrayed that with the audience. The highlight was the 3D dissection and you can choose what organs you want to look at and you can slice them up and rotate them. This is the uh, dragons from Game of Thrones. I'm a nature photographer, but I have a background in science. That's the, the breathing apparatus inside a caterpillar. Loads of comedy shows, there's music nights, the henna tattoos, everything you could think of. Things moving in response to sound. Can you levitate a human being? The answer, if you'd have come to the lecture, you'd have found out the answer is yes, but it probably deafen you, that's the downside. DJs around the world have been on radio stations, you've been on stage. This is a proper in-depth look at what goes on and how it works. I wanted to be involved, I wanted to be a part of it. I think for me, I'm going to find out and learn as much as you guys. <laughs> it's been great wandering around and seeing so many conversations happening between scientists and general members of the public. These eyes are absolutely amazing. The pinhole cameras. With this installation I would just create an uh, experimentation of the universe and it was all created by geometric shapes. It's a booth that digitises your consciousness in a sort of immersive fantasy way and everyone seems to come out smiling. This is a mix of art and science all in one and it's an explosion of, of creativity. I would prefer, if given the choice between space and the British Science Festival, to go to the British Science Festival not space.